वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड नाइट वेन एवर यू विल वॉच दिस वीडियो सो टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज लैंकशायर बॉयल सो ओवर हियर एज यू कैन सी थ्री फिगर्स आई हैव ड्रॉन फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट दिस फिगर इंडिकेट्स दी फ्रंट व्यू ऑफ योर लैंकशायर बॉयलर दिस फिगर इंडिकेट्स योर टॉप व्यू ऑफ योर लैंकशायर बॉयलर एंड दिस फिगर विल इंडिकेट दी साइड व्यू ऑफ योर लैंकशायर बॉयलर now uh, i hope you are ready with your pen and paper so note it down each and every points if you will find it is important now i'll start with this video how i'll start first of all from the diagram you can write one thing which one that uh, it is a multi tube boiler why because over here you can see more than one tube is there over here two tube, tube and over here also two tube but over here only single tube you can see why because that is your front view so from the front if you will see two tubes you can see and that is your top view from the top if you will see then also you can see the two tubes but that same two tubes if you will see from the side that is your side view from the side if you will see so what's happen only single tube you can see why because one tube is hidden behind the another tube okay so clear about that that is your front view two tubes that is to top view then also two tubes and that is your side view side view means only single tube you can see the so first point is which one that it is a multi tube boiler second point what you can write from the diagram that over here water is present around the tubes that means if water is present around the tubes that means inside of the tube fire must be present or hot few gases must be present that is why from the diagram second point what you can write that it is a fire tube boiler as tubes are surrounded with the water and inside of the tube uh, few gases are present okay third point what you can write as the axis of the boiler is horizontal that is the axis of boiler that is the axis of boiler and in that case that is perpendicular to this board that is the axis of boiler that means these axes are which axis these axes are horizontal axis so the third point is which one that it is a horizontal axis boiler now fourth point what you can write as you know that inside of the tube which thing is present fluid gases are present that means combustion of the fuel is taken place inside of the shell that means it is your internally fired boiler so that much point you can write from the diagram first one is which one multi tube second one is which one that uh, fire tube inside of the uh, tube fluid gases is present and surround the tube water is present third one is which one that uh, internally fired um, boiler why because uh, fire uh, combustion of the core is taken place inside of the shell and last one is which one your horizontal uh, boiler now after that uh, we will discuss the uh, working principle that of that uh, boiler now generally you know that for what purpose boilers are used they are used to heat the water so that water is converted into a high pressure and high temperature of the steam now in this lancashire boiler uh, that uh, heating of water is taken place with the help of three stages that means water is heated in this boiler by using three stage first stage over here if i want to write in short form i will write because i don't have the space to write so you can understand first stage is which one first first stage is which one that when fluid gases that is your tube fire tube when fluid gases will move from front to back that is your front to back why front to back because that is which view that is side view and over here combustion of the fuel will take place and uh, fluid fluid gases will move in forward direction so that is your front and that is your back over here over here combustion of the coal is taken place and fuel gases will move in back side that means front to back so when fuel gases will move from front to back front to back at that time what happen internal portion of the water is heated which portion of the water is heated internal portion of the water is heated that is your inside portion of the water is heated clear about that when fuel gases will move from front to back when fluid gases will move from front to back front back okay acha now that means fluid gases is present at back now fluid gases will travel from back to front so over here i will write now fluid gases will travel from back to front when it will travel from back to front at that time it will travel with the help of this passage 
and that that passage is known as your bottom flue line which thing bottom flue line that passage that passage is known as bottom flue line so when flue vessels will, will travel from back to front back to front at that time it will travel with the help of a bottom flue line and due to that bottom portion of the that is your bottom flue line bottom portion of the cell that is your bottom portion of the cell that is your shell that is your shell bottom portion of the shell is heated so what happened over here bottom portion of the shell is heated now back to front is done back to front is done now flue gases will go from front to back now flue gases will go from front to back when flue gases will go from front to back at that time over here front to back that is the front portion that is your back portion when flue gases will go from front to back at that time that flue gases will be bifurcated or will be divided into two streams so over here you can see that over single stream is there which is present in uh, bottom flue line after that when it will go from uh, front to back front to back at that time that single stream of the flue gases will be bifurcated or will be divided into two strings and the two strings are present in your side flue lines that is known as side flue lines side flue lines and in side flue lines what happen that is your side flue lines over here you can say side flue lines so over here when flue gases will travel from side flue lines at that time flue gases will do what it will heat the side portion of the cell it will heat the side portion of the cell so over here flue gases will go from front to back at that time what happen it will heat the side portion of the uh, shell so these are the three stages and with the help of three stages here that the heating of the water is taken place so at the top side what happen over here you can see steam is generated over here also you can say steam is generated now uh, that uh, diameter of the shell the diameter of the shell is around 2 meters also length of this shell that is your length of this shell length of this shell is around 10 meters i have eight to 10 meters you can see after that the diameter of the fire tube the diameter of the fire tube is around 80 cm to 100 cm and length of the fire tubes are also 2 meter uh, now uh, over here sorry length of the tubes are 10 meter because uh, shell length is all 10 meter so length of the tube is also 10 meter now uh, we will start with the working principle how we we'll start so first of all we will open the fire door that is known as fire door that is your fire door when you open the fire door so what happen inside of that tube we will place the coal so inside that is your tube that is your tube inside of the tube you will place the coal so that is your coal i will place the coal and after that i will do the ignition and that ignition is taken place on the fire grate so that is your fire grate as you know fire grate means what it is one type of net fire grate means what it is one type of net and on which combustion of coal is taken place so when you will open the fire door at that time you will place the coal on the fire grate and then uh, due to the ignition combustion will start and due to the combustion of the coal what happen flue gases are produced so over here flue gases are produced that is your flue gases so over here flue gases are produced now in front of the flue gas that is your fire bridge that is your fire bridge that fire bridge will do what that fire bridge will perform two functions first function is which one due to the combustion of coal whatever flue gases are produced to them that fire bridge will provide the direction that in a proper direction flue gases will move with the help of fire bridge and second proper function of that fire bridge is what that fire bridge will remove the burn particles of the coal from the flue gases so as you know in the flue gases when it will pass from the fire bridge what happen this thing is present uh, hot flue gases are there and in hot flue gases uh, that combustion or uh, combust particle of coal is also present so that fire bridge will remove the combust particles of this coal so only and only which thing can transfer only and only uh, flue gas can transfer now after that when flue gases will move from front to back when flue gases will move from front to back at that time flue gases will heat the internal portion of the water will heat the internal portion of the water as flue gases will move from front to back diameter of the 
tube is decreasing and as diameter is decreasing velocity of flue gas is increased and when velocity of flue gas is increased that flue gas will be reflected and then it will enter into a bottom that is your bottom flue line due to the reflection it will enter into a bottom flue line and then uh, flue gases will travel from back to front flue gases will travel from B means back to front in a bottom flue line and then it will travel from bottom flue line what's happening that hot flue gases will heat over here bottom flue line hot flue gases will heat the bottom portion of the cell hot flue gases will heat the bottom portion of the cell now after that after that when that flue gases will move from front to back when the flue gases will move from front to back from front to back at that time this flue stream that hot flue gas stream will be divided or will be bifurcated into two streams and that flue gases will pass through the side flue line so that is your side flue line that is also side flue line in side flue line flue gases will move from front to back flue gases will move from front to back and then it will move from front to back so what's happened that uh, flue gases will heat the side portion flue, flue gases will heat the side portion of the uh, that uh, shell so flue gases will heat the side portion of the cell now after that at the end of the uh, side flue uh, line that is your side flue line dampers are present that is your damper now the dampers are chain operated so we can open or close the dampers as per our requirement so uh, when uh, dampers are open so what happen that hot flue gases will enter or both of the hot flue gases will mix at one passage and then it is rejected through the chimney in the atmosphere so function of damper is what it will control the flow of the uh, hot flue gases and then it will be rejected with the help of chimney into the atmosphere here now oh, that is all about the working principle after that if we will discuss about its mounting and accessories so so many mounting and accessories are there same mounting and accessories that uh, i have discussed in uh, your um, backcock and wilcox boiler so over here shortage of space is there that's why i have not drawn each and every mounting then accessories but you can draw and explain also fit check valve means uh, we will insert the water safety valve which is used for safety purpose so that accident may not take place due to the high pressure that is the pressure gauge will indicate how much pressure is present of this steam that is your manhole manhole will do what that with the help of manhole a person can enter inside of the shell and person can uh, clean the boiler and final that is your chimney so through chimney that uh, vapor particles or burn particles are rejected and that is your ash pit over here whatever combustion uh, after the combustion whatever coal particles are there that will be collected over here now lastly i will discuss the application of this boiler so these boilers are used in the sugar production industries also it is used in the clothes production industries and it is used in uh, uh, chemical industries so this is all about the uh, work king of your lancashire boiler now i would like to end this video till then read hard work hard thank you very much